Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. I wrote this tweet and it says, hello from the PS5. So there I am waving. There is a Lua interpreter that's running on port 9938. And then there is a debug message which says to watch my YouTube channel. Today, I wanna show you exactly how I got that going on my PlayStation 5, as well as a couple of scripts that you can play with in order to make your PlayStation 5 do other things, such as tell you what Java the PS5 is running on, as well as start a clog server, which will give you some diagnostic information about what's currently going on on your PlayStation 5. All that happens right now. Okay, so first things first, what you saw is just a BDJ implementation of a Lua server. Now, I said that in the comments on Twitter, but I just wanted to say that again. This is no sort of new exploit or anything secret uh, that I have or that others have shared with me. In fact, the implementation of the Lua server was by John Tornblum, which you can go over to his GitHub page and you can check out some of the work that he's doing. So if you head over to his page and you go to samples and then you go to PS5 Lua server, you can see that this is absolutely nothing brand new. Now, he writes down in here that this is a BDJ XLIT that starts a socket server on port 9938 that interprets data from the incoming connections as Lua code. Once we are out of the sandbox, we can start a socket server that uses Lua J, which is a Java implementation of Lua to interpret the code inside the JRE or the Java runtime environment. To launch scripts remotely, you could use Netcat, and here is an example of that being ran. Now, he does expect you to create that ISO image, and there's actually a sample of how to make that. There is a few things that you do have to have set up on your machine. So I have created a GitHub repo that has this ISO image as well as a couple of samples. Let's take a quick peek at that. So I'm gonna come over here to this tab. Again, the link to my repository is gonna be in the description as well. And you can see here, this is just my kind of public collection of ISO images that is floating around for the BDJ implementation. So again, you can watch a video that I've linked to that's on my channel that gives you a further explanation about the ISO images and even some of the payloads uh, that you can run here. But the one that you're going to want is going to be this one right here, which is just called PS5 Lua Server ISO. It says Lua Server for PS5 BDJ and use the script folder for samples. So these are scripts that John has created. And let's just go ahead and take a little bit deeper look at each one of these in Visual Studio Code. So we'll just go ahead and we will begin with the easiest one, which was just hello world.lua. What this does is simply print hello world just in your console or in your terminal application. This just verifies that the Lua server is working and it is working properly. The next one would probably be this one for a Java version .lua, And this will actually tell you what is the running Java version that is on a PlayStation 5. And don't worry, we're going to run all of these in just a moment. Then we have one called get PID, which gets the process ID of the currently running process on the PlayStation 5. Then we have clog, K-L-O-G, or at least that's how I pronounce it. And what this will give you is the diagnostics information. So you may remember this from PlayStation 4, and especially me talking a bit about it with the gold hen release that came out not too long ago. This is very helpful for developers to know kind of what's going on on the system. 
And then finally, the notification. This pops up the PS5 notification. So this was exactly what I used for this part of the pop-up. So it says, watch Michael's YouTube channel. And that was simply accomplished by coming back in here and then editing this one line of code. And I was running this on a PS5 4.03. Let's go ahead and let's look at how we can run each one of these commands and the output that we get. So in order to run those Lua scripts, I just so happen to have my MacBook Pro right beside me. Obviously, you can use any sort of Linux terminal. So like Windows subsystem for Linux, you can use that. But here is the command that I ran on my machine. As you can see, we have NC for Netcat. This is my PlayStation 5's IP address and then the port 9938, my redirector. And then the first one that I was going to run was just going to be hello world.lua. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press return on that command. As you can see, nothing is being returned just yet. And that's simply because the server isn't running right now. But I'm going to go over to the PlayStation and I'm going to press on the disk, which is going to start up the interpreter. So you can see that that's now running. And we already have the output from the very first script. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the get PID one. We're going to press return here. And there you can see the process ID is 81. And on the PlayStation 5, there isn't any sort of output because that only directs it just back to the terminal or the console. So now we're going to get the Java version. So there you can see it is running Java version 11.0.11 dash internal. So that is the Java version that's currently being run on the PS5. Again, no output on the PS5 itself. Now let's try the notification and we're going to press return. And now we will get the hello world pop-up notification. And the last one that we will try here is the KLOG, which is just going to give us that diagnostic information come in directly off of the PS5. So this will be very helpful again for developers and for those that are looking into the PS5 to see if there's any other types of exploits, etc., that may be out there. So after I stopped the script, you could see there was a couple of things, you know, such as like the video port, HDMI, audio, the power mode changed. So again, just a bunch of diagnostic information that's coming from the PS5. So yeah, if you do want to get started, obviously you can come over here to the ISOs and you can scroll down and just simply take this, download it. And if you have a Blu-ray burner, just burn it using something like Image Burn. Then once that's finished, again, you can come over here to the scripts folder and you can simply run any of these scripts to, in order to get the same output that you just saw. And so that is going to do it for this one. I hope this information helps somewhat. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I've got so much more stuff coming. It is ridiculous. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Michael out.